Hi, everybody. John here at PT. Dan with Sandler Training. PT, how's Dan? How we doing, Dan? Hey, John. It's a great morning. It's a great morning. <laughs> so let's talk about cheese. How do you feel about cheese, Dan? <laughs> I only like it when it's melted. Melted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that I don't. I don't know if we can continue. I mean, cheese. <laughs> yeah. So years ago, obviously, there was the book around who moved my cheese and the concept around struggling through change. And it's a good, quick read if you've never read it. It's a sit down, read it in an hour kind of book. Um, but it talks about the realities of as we age, as we experience things, as technology changes, as people around us change and evolve it can be hard to adjust and adapt. And where we were focused on something that was right in front of us, that something is now over there and we've got to figure out how to work over there and those kinds of things. So talk a little bit about when it comes to salespeople and the struggles we tend to have around change and the impact that has on how we engage then with people. When we were a kid, everything was new. <laughs> and so yeah. we're always stretching out of our comfort zone, trying new things, experimenting, working on just because everything's brand new. But as we get older, things are no longer new anymore. And we get kind of caught in these ruts of life, I, I call it. Yeah. And part of that, John, is that we're just wired that way. We're wired to be in familiar situations and, and places. And we're also wired to do certain habits. I mean, think about your morning routine yeah. or maybe your night routine. It's usually similar. Um, and, and, and then when we start to think about changing any of that, yeah, part of us can maybe get excited and happy about it. But part of us gets kind of scared and nervous and <laughs> do I really want to do that. And it's interesting. I was watching a documentary called Free Solo. It's about a yeah. free climber uh, named yeah. Alex Honnold. And and he climbed El Capitan, I forget how tall it is, without ropes, right? And and there's no way he did that on day one of, of his climbing career. Of course. That was like the accumulative effort of everything he learned. And, and John, here's the thing. I think that so many times in sales and business where we think to ourselves, for example, how am I going to do a million dollars in sales? That That's just an astronomical number, you know, this year. And 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 our mind just shuts down but it's we can trick ourselves and we can say to ourselves hey how do i do ten thousand dollars this week how do yeah. i do fifty thousand dollars this month and and we we put it in those little bite-sized pieces and before you know it we've climbed our el capitan so to speak yeah it's kind of the old adage of how you eat an elephant one bite at a time so look at look at that aspect of how do you kind of nibble away at something to get to that bigger goal. So if you shorten up the behaviors and the goal, it can help you not look at something as as daunting as maybe you think about it. And then as as things change around you, it becomes harder, as you described. When you're young, everything's new. So that's just the way life is. But as we get sort of comfortable in certain spaces, we kind of seek comfort at times. It's It's tough to get us out of our shell a little bit sometimes because we like what we've got we want to keep that and there's that kind of wrapping our arms around it a little too tightly sometimes and not evolving with everything else around us i heard someone say that when he dies he doesn't want to get laid down into his grave all nice and shiny and clean looking he wants to kind of slide in at the last moment all cut and bruised and disheveled and i think there's something to that enjoying life is not about staying and doing the exact same thing every day. It's about Correct. staying and doing new things. Yeah, it's not just about that surviving. It's about living and experiencing and the newness and the freshness and all the changes. It, it, it really gives you a lot of energy if you embrace it. I totally agree. There we go. All right, everybody. See you again tomorrow. Take care.